Hey everyone and welcome to this short video on where to upload your website files to in the Fastos FTP space. So this video was already assuming that you've got your FTP details and we do have a guide on that if you need to find them. So I'm just going to log into my website FTP space here. So I'm using FileZilla but you can use any any FTP client you want. So when you log in you're going to automatically end up in this htdocs folder which is the main website folder for you. So this is going to be sort of where you'll put in all of your web files. You can see we automatically create this this directory here, CGI bin, and that's for any files that require an execute permission, so if you've got any scripting like that. So at the moment you can see there's nothing in here, so if we open a browser, and this is for this website here, Fastos Webinars, we get in just a 403 because there's no files there for that to be displayed. So what we can do is we need to upload our default website page here and if you check out this guide and this link is in the video description as well you can see what you should call your um, your home page so here we've got a list of all the home page names you can have and it lists them in the order of priority so if you had two home pages which isn't best practice but it happens if you had default html default.htm and default.html the default.htm would be loaded first so if you're ever having any problems where you're not seeing the page you'd expect that might be the reason so let's go ahead and upload a home page and i've just called it index html and we just go back to that now and if we refresh this page we can see that page there is literally just a bit of HTML script that says hello world. So that's where you upload all your website files. And just one little thing to note, if you need a private file, so if you've got any sort of content that your website needs to function but shouldn't be publicly viewable, if we go up a directory, we're going to see uh, the root of our uh, web files here. So htdocs is the folder where all of your web files go and you've got log files as well which will give you sort of a clue if you're having any problems with your website check out the log files there's quite a lot of information in there um, as well as sort of visitor stats and things like that. You can ignore the the other ones there they're all added there by default but if we need a folder where you've got uh, content that your scripts need but you shouldn't have but shouldn't be publicly visible we would just call create a new directory and call it private and there we go and we would use that so you can create that if you need it not that many websites use that but that's where you put it and that's all there is to it thanks very much for watching goodbye for now